Hey everyone, hope you guys have been staying sane, staying well because, well, Singapore has just entered back again to our mini lockdown where we cannot dine out and we can only hang out in a group of two. And furthermore, um, a lot of my plans for the channel has been pushed back because of the new restrictions but I still want to make the best use of this time and I still want to do it as much as possible in this period so I thought to myself, why not do something new every single day for one week and you know see how it goes it's not gonna be like big crazy experiences but rather small little things that I have not done before <laughs> Yeah, today is kind of like the last day of dining out, so um, I'm going to make the best use of it and day one starts now. Okay, then I'll have the bacon cheeseburger. Can I have grilled onions, grilled mushroom? Total $44. Sure. Thank you. Have a nice Thank day, you. sir. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your meal. Eh? Yeah. Oh, surprise. Yes. Oh, so much. Uh. <laughs> Alright guys, so yes, it's my first time at Mel's, first time trying five guys and wow, this meal cost me a bomb. Just the burger itself, it's already like $17 and then adding the fries is $9 and then with the drink, it's five more dollars. So total that's $30 for a fast food meal. It better be the best burger ever. So messy, yo. <laughs> Your mouth, huh? It's nice, ah. Thirty dollars worth. No. Not All right. So I got the bacon cheeseburger, and it's double patty with bacon with some grilled mushrooms and grilled onions. Oh my god! It looks so good. Look at the cheese. It's just drooling all over. Oh, mm. this is all I ever need in a burger. Just good juicy patties with melted cheese and just simple ingredients like the bacon is super strong. Can't ask for more in a burger. I mean, at the price, it gets better. But is it worth $30? Man, $30 for a meal like this is just way too expensive. But man, this burger, oh my god, it's, everything is in balance. Like how all things should be. Perfectly balanced. This whole thing should be. Mm. Bye bye. It's 7.20 right now and I'm at Marina Bay. The view is looking good um, but I'm so tired man. I don't know how people like just do this like every day. Wake up at 5am or 6am to run that kind of thing but I'm gonna try it today. <laughs> Mama, I'm so done. Ran two rounds around the whole promenade. I'm done. I'm done. Alright guys, so today I am going to prepare a meal by myself. I've you know, I've helped out in the kitchen and stuff like that, but I've never really prepared a meal all by myself and I kind of got inspired by this tasty recipe. It's a stuffed steak roll and uh, I'm pretty nervous. I don't know how it would turn out. I... <laughs> K, 
Okay, we need to slice. What so me is the cheese. Actually the beef is very nice. The combo is good lah, but this one is quite thick for me. How did I do Mel? Yeah, it tastes nice. So success? Uh just at the presentation looks <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> okay, but at least it tastes nice. Okay, at least it's edible lah, huh? So it's a pass. Today I'm going to create a TikTok video which I barely create on TikTok, okay? And I'm gonna do a TikTok dance. <laughs> what? I've been practicing for the past one hour and goodness, I, I don't know, man. I, I, I feel... Ugh. I tried to impress my dog. Hey guys, so I'll be very honest with you all i've been really struggling to keep this up it, it feels like daily vlogging because like just trying to do new things every day and you know filming it and, and thinking of how i'm going to film it and all the ideas like it has been really pretty challenging and I'm, I'm just trying to keep this up because like this week has been just crazy packed with a lot of other things other than you know trying to create this video so it has been yeah, I've been stretched, but I'm gonna try and keep at it. And for today, I'm going to just take it slow. I'm gonna try and clear my mind. I'm gonna try meditating. Never done this before. I don't know how. I can just sit still and not do anything and just try to listen to my breath. But I'm gonna try and do it and declutter my mind and just recalibrate myself. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do it for 10 minutes. So um, let's get at it. I definitely became more hyper aware of the surroundings. I could hear every sound that's being made. Definitely had some space to really just empty out my mind. Although I would say like towards the end, my mind started to wonder and started to think about things. I started to think like, did I press uh, the timer? Like, is it actually like running? So, uh, but considering, you know, it's my first time, uh, I guess, uh, overall, I think it's still quite a good experience. Definitely feels good to just stop everything and just stay still. Yoga poses that will melt away my stress. Both of us have not done prawning before. We're pretty clueless, and yeah, prawning is like a favorite pastime for Singaporeans. It's pretty chill. How many how many prawns do you think we can catch today? I'm aiming for ten. <laughs> 10, 10 prawns lah. Okay, like let's let's go for ten combined. Everyone else is catching a prawn except us. <laughs>
Today, I met Pasiris Beach or Pasiris Park. I've never like cleaned up a beach before, so I'm here today to try and clean up some trash. Although I would say like the park is really pretty clean. The beaches, uh, you know, they are like cleaners to pick up the rubbish already. So I don't see a lot of rubbish or trash around the area. So it's relatively clean, which is kind of like a good news. But uh, I do still see a bit of trash around you know the mangrove area so I'm gonna just you know pick up a bit of trash and yeah plastics do get trapped in the mangrove area Oish. Okay, so I think I'm kind of done. Kind of got like a half bag full of trash. Again, the, the beach is relatively clean, but yeah, in the mangrove area, I did still find quite a bit of rubbish. I hope this is still something. I mean, I'm just one person, but... Uh They've been here all this time. So yes, it has been an interesting seven days and to be very honest, most of the stuff that I did was quite uncomfortable and uh, if not, I was just really, really tired and didn't really want to do it. But every time I, I did it and pulled myself through, I, I did feel good about myself that I did something new for the first time. And, and so it was genuinely like the whole experience was quite refreshing. Possible if we try. Huge thanks to the sponsor of today's episode, Clear Plus. So if you find yourself working from home and just having a lot of eye strain from staring at your computer screens or your smartphone screens, then you might want to consider getting a pair of blue light glasses from Clear Plus because these screens tend to emit quite a bit of blue light which causes eye strain. So the lenses from the blue light glasses from Clear Plus blocks up to 100% UV rays and 35% of blue light rays which significantly reduces the amount of eye strain that you would have. And the amazing thing about getting your blue light glasses from Clear Plus is that they would actually do a virtual facial remapping of the spectacles with every order. So they would customize the length and the bend of the spectacle arms and also remap the nose pad to kind of just better fit your overall facial features. So I think that is pretty damn awesome. And lastly, this pair of glasses is very lightweight and it comes in a good amount of colors and design. And I went with the clear one. I really like it because, you know, it kind of makes me look smarter. Yeah. So once again, thank you, Clear Plus. Clear Plus. Once again, thank you, Clear Plus, for sponsoring to this episode. Yes, finally. After one hour, my second prawn. 